Hey, good Wednesday morning, everybody. It's First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penn. There's a lot to talk about today. Next couple of days, we've got the potential for some severe storms. But here's the interesting thing. They're going to be really isolated. This is one of those weird setups where I don't expect a lot of rain or storms the next two days. But the storms that can get going are going to have the potential to be severe. So I'll show you and break everything down for you. And we'll take a little sneak peek ahead to Sunday. I'm getting questions about Sunday already, even though I don't think there's going to be much of a severe weather threat. It certainly looks like a wet weekend. So this morning, I want to start with the visible satellite image and current conditions, because a couple things going on here. First thing that sticks out is we've got some storms up in West Virginia. But also, see this arc of clouds? This is what we call an old outflow boundary from some storms last night. That's an interesting feature because the Storm Prediction Center has just put this area back into our medium threat for severe storms. Notice the clouds to the west, but look at all the sunshine over us. Temperatures are in the 60s right now, dew points in the 50s. And that's crucial because east of the mountains here, there's a little area where there's not a lot of instability yet for thunderstorms. So let me switch maps here and we'll show you today's severe weather outlook. So this is the current outlook. And if you look carefully, you can see a big area of red. That's our medium threat back there. Uh, the orange, or high threat, excuse me. The orange is our medium threat for severe storms. And then the yellow is our low threat. So pretty much all of the Carolinas currently are under a low or medium threat. But what happened this morning is this little appendage here uh, was added by the Storm Prediction Center. And the reason that was added was that little outflow boundary. That's going to serve as an area for storms to focus. But most of the threat over the Charlotte area and the Western Carolinas this is actually, I think, more about a front of or a line of storms that's going to develop late tonight into early tomorrow. So we might not see much of anything today until later tonight into tomorrow. And, I, and I'll, I'll kind of explain why here. I'm going to show you tomorrow's severe weather outlook. Got to jump over here uh, and I'll show you tomorrow's severe weather outlook. You see that outlook there. There's a low risk right there. And that's basically, if you draw a line, that's the cold front pushing through the area tomorrow morning. So this could be one of those weird timing overnight into early tomorrow morning kind of time frames. I'm going to turn that off for a second and we're going to look at some of the model guidance. All right, so we're going to look at some of the short range guidance. This is a basically an 18 hour future cast that we run every hour. We call it the high resolution rapid refresh model because it runs every model. It's rapid refresh and it's high resolution. So let's start this morning. Um, we'll start this and again, I'll, I'll read out the times so you can't see them. I have off camera here, but this is starting basically at 9 a.m. this morning, 10, 11, 12, uh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So 2 o'clock this afternoon, notice our short range guidance big fat zero of storm. So that's why I don't think we'll see much during the day. So this is this is basically two o'clock. Let's go to three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. So six o'clock this evening, we've got some storms forming in the mountains, also up here. And what's likely is that old outflow boundary, there's probably going to be storms forming along that while these form on the ridge top and push this direction. So we'll have to watch. This boundary interaction is always something that's got to be very carefully watched because boundaries interacting with incoming storms, you can get some localized rotation. The overall threat today is not really tornadoes for us. It's straight line winds and hail. But if you get interaction of those things, you got to keep an eye on that. But again, this is 6 p.m. Not a lot out there, folks. I mean, that's just not a lot. Let's go to 7. You see a storm popping up over Charlotte, very isolated in nature. Again, notice that where they are. Um, not a lot. This would be probably 30% chance of rain today, but about half of those are probably going to be severe with hail or damaging wind. So uh, you can see the threat for severe is actually pretty significant considering the number of storms we have out there. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. We'll stop it at 2 a.m. Looks pretty quiet here, right? But let me widen out. Look at this coming in from the west. To me, this is the thing we have to watch. So this is at 2 o'clock in the morning, and it's going to be pushing east. Now, the thing that helps us here, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. The atmosphere is cooling down. It still has to cross the mountains, which have cooler air. So those things would inhibit the storms from maintaining themselves. But there is a lot of wind energy and a strong front associated with this. So as it pushes east, it's likely going to maintain some momentum of wind. Think about a bulldozer pushing a big pile of sand. If the bulldozer stops, the sand tends to go forward a little bit. And in the atmosphere, when you're pushing air, the air just doesn't stop, even if the mechanism pushing it stops. So the rush of air could go on for a while, even after the storms weaken. And that's something we've got to keep an eye on because 
gusty winds would be a big concern. So this this model only goes out 18 hours. So let's go out a little bit longer um, and show you what's going to happen through 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And as expected, the storms are weakening because this is the coolest part of the day. A lot of folks would say, oh, the mountains broke it up. Uh, no, actually, in this case, it's just a coincidence because it got to the mountains at the coolest part of the day, which is right around sunrise. So um, if this was happening in the middle of the afternoon, those mountains would have no impact. So it's it's less to do with the mountains than it is with the cold air. The thing that the mountains do, it's that the fact there's cold air over the mountains and they tend to, to help us there. But in this case, it's just bad timing for the storms because this is 7 a.m. <laughs> this is 8 a.m. The storms fall apart. Now watch what happens. Remember that outlook I showed you where severe weather was possible here? Well, as the heating of the day progresses, the storms could bubble back up to the to the east of us. So we'll keep an eye on that into the afternoon. So the overall threat here isn't huge. That's, I guess, the main point of this. I don't expect a lot of severe storms. Uh, the problem is any storm that can get going could be severe. So let's go back to this map, and I'm going to turn off everything for a second and go back to my severe weather outlook because uh, this was the outlook today, but this is the wind threat today. Notice here we've got a significant wind threat this is the 15% chance of damaging winds and the 10% chance. Let me show you, because a lot of folks ask me, what about the tornado threat? There's the threat overall. Here's the tornado probability. 5% probability in the, in the, in the brown, 2% in the green. Notice there's not much of a tornado probability. It's what we call non-zero. It's not zero, but it's less than 2%. I'll show you the, the hail threat, pretty significant hail threat and wind threat in both of these. So, Today's threat really is going to be wind or hail, but as I just showed you, there's just not a ton of storms expected. So this is one of those things where, yeah, there's only a 30% chance of rain today, folks, but the storms that can get going could be severe. So stay weather aware today and tomorrow. And someone asked me uh, earlier about Sunday. Um, Sunday is still far out. Obviously, it is way, way out there. But a lot of folks will ask me about these days out into the future. And let me see if I can actually show these. So here is, uh, this is Friday. This is Saturday. This is Sunday. Oh, uh, Saturday. This is Saturday. Excuse me. You see a, a threat of severe weather across Texas on Saturday. We'll go into Sunday and that threat shifts to the south. So one of the things about Sunday, there's a big storm system and it's mainly a big low pressure system. Um, the severe weather threat looks like it's going to be down in here not up here in the Carolinas. We will be wedged in with cold air, so I do expect heavy rain over us, but I'm not going to discount that there couldn't be severe weather. Right now, the setup, at least based on right now, looking you know several days into the future, any severe weather on Sunday is likely going to be to our south, unless the warm air surges up here. The thing is, it's going to be cold and chilly this weekend, and that stabilizes us. So I do expect a lot of rain over our area, but right now there's no severe weather expected on Easter Sunday, just a miserable cold rain. Of course, that could change. Stay tuned. But right now, the threat looks to be to our south. Hope you have a great day. I will post updates throughout the day, tonight, tomorrow. Trust me, I'm working 24-7 on this, even at home. This is what I do normally. So I'll be on top of it. Please follow me on social media. Tell your friends to follow me on social media as well as we go through the weekend. I'll keep you up to date about the severe weather situation.